our bodies change over time, so do our nutritional needs. Although good nutrition is important at all ages, it becomes even more important as we age. Over time, the metabolic rate slows, appetite can decrease, and the risk for certain diseases such as osteoporosis, heart disease, and diabetes can rise. These and many other issues can be addressed with a healthy plant diet and some minor lifestyle changes. Nutrition deserves special attention as an individual reaches old age. It plays a vital role in affecting the quality of life, including physical, mental, and social health. The physiological decline in food intake is very common among older age, and this results in nutritional deficiencies. Common nutritional deficiencies in elderly people include low intake of energy, protein, food and vegetables, fiber, micronutrients, and long-chain polyunsaturated fatty acids. Adequate protein intake contributes to the growth and maintenance of muscle mass. Key micronutrients that may be lacking in the diet of elderly people are vitamins, zinc, calcium, iron, and selenium. Vitamin D intake is especially important. Deficiency impairs physical performance and predicts the development of disability. Besides effects of physical performance and bone strength, vitamin D also helps to normal immune function. Today on your regular health TV talk show, the physicians will be discussing aging gracefully, discussing the importance of targeted nutrition for older adults. We're we'll back after this short break. It's another day with the physicians where your health is our business. Today we'll be discussing aging gracefully, discussing the importance of targeted nutrition for older adults. My name is Dr. Martina Agbere, and of course I'm not alone on this program. I have my regular anchor, my co-anchor, who is also aging gracefully. Her name is Dr. Memona Isop Kadri, and welcome to your favorite health TV talk show, The Physicians, where your health is our business and will always be our our business i just like the way you are seated you're like an elderly already who is actually just relaxing mm -hmm. and it shows mm -hmm. that you are mm -hmm. aging gracefully mm -hmm. aging gracefully this not is elderly. The, okay this is the way they're positioned so elderly right? for this are sit down yes uh, with respect with dignity so that you don't know whether they have challenges or, or not, or not. <laughs> and they cross their legs no. so well and well you know, positioned when we talk about aging gracefully one of them good thing to also put in mind is your posture. Yeah. So I'm making sure that I'm sitting yeah, properly and not slouching. Yeah. Yeah. And because all these pains and all that you just keep coming and like, you don't want to deal with pain. Okay, so there's this particular word here. We're talking about uh, the targeted, importance yeah. of targeted, targeted nutrition. nutrition. So if there's targeted nutrition, it definitely means that you have, it is specific. Exactly. As you grow older, older. and for you to age gracefully, there are certain things you have to let go. Like, Absolutely. Like red meat. Absolutely. Now, even, you even, like even red sugar. Mm -hmm. Even sugar. No, I don't do sugar. Even no, I'm sugar. not telling you like red and meat. And there are certain things that you have to now do differently. Even your association with people. Very right. The mental health. Yeah, right. Now we're talking about nutrition. So yeah. what are the things that you need to eat and what you should not eat? Yeah. For instance, instant you increase the fiber. And then of course um, the oil that you know there's something about oil that people just and it's, it, it's natural the food people believe that food ta are tastier when it has a lot of oil and you know that as you grow older there are certain oils you should even take out on because of cholesterol issue Absolutely. and even if you are using oil there are certain type you should focus on it's not about quantity now it's about the quality, quality of what you are taking yeah. so we're now going to talk about the targeted nutrition so we'll know if it is only the food that you cook or oh. you need some supplements Supplement, exactly. also to help you but i know i'm very excited 
because the guest that is coming. She, if you see her, you know when they say somebody is in her sixties but looking twenty. Yes. <laughs> she just looks like you know. She doesn't even. Yes. Yeah, she just. She's just always, always looking like sixteen. I'm and like, every and you do every it time she says something on this program, it's always a takeaway. We can't even wait, please. Bring her on board fast. Please, if you are there alone watching this program, just take your phone. Give a call. Call your neighbors, call your friends to watch because we'll be discussing a very, very important topic. We'll be back after this short break. Stay tuned. Every day and in every way, enjoy that I find support. No matter the role you play, you dream back supplements for you and me. In your body, that I fight you. Darabite Nutritional Supplement is loaded with essential multivitamins, minerals, and natural ingredients that helps you to be at your best. Darabite from LB Pharma. Darabite, love yourself. Welcome back to your favorite health TV talk show, Physicians, where your health is our business. Today we'll be discussing aging gracefully, discussing the importance of targeted nutrition in for older adults. We have our guest, she is a public health physician, Dr. Omobolanle Johnson. Doctor, you're welcome to our program. It's always a pleasure to be here. Looking good. <laughs> good. Look at your friends. <laughs> and the low haircut. So now we'll be talking about aging gracefully, targeted nutrition for the elderly, right? The elderly adults. Maybe we should begin, just give us a general overview. We'll talk about nutrition. Okay. What really does it mean? So, I mean, you said quite a number of things that we're going to talk about. You said aging gracefully and nutrition so let's talk about what each of that means okay. so what is nutrition nutrition is a process by which you take in food and you use it and how do you use your food you use it to grow use it to change your skin to make sure that your normal body processes are going well to make sure to have new red blood cells to be able to have energy to move to dance and to grace age yeah. gracefully to fight in, um, in, um, infections and you know, have your own immunity and just to be happy and have a full social life. Exactly. So, and of course, you need to get rid of your waste. Yes, that's part of what you need your nutrition for. So who exactly is an elderly person? You'll be surprised that the term elderly depends on where you live. And of, you'll be surprised to know that that is usually based on when you retire. So in countries like Nigeria, we use the age 60. All of, but of course, the federal government has changed some of the retirement ages for teachers, for so lawyers, lawyers, and some other except people. Except the doctors. Yes, except the doctors. <laughs> <laughs> when you get to the age of 60 and when you retire, you have a lot of changes that happen to you socially that would affect your physical functions. So if you stop working, that's why we advocate now that to, if you're very active, don't stop working at 60. Find somewhere to go. If you do not need the money, go somewhere and contribute. Be a volunteer teacher, a volunteer doctor. Come and be a volunteer on the physician. Yeah. We need more of them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, what happens is that they start to stay at home. Um, they, um, the, the amount of money for those of them who do not have a regular income, maybe their uh, gratuity is not coming, their pension is not coming, suddenly the amount of money they have reduces. Yeah, yeah. They stop moving about. And you would be surprised that early morning vitamin D, the first sun of the day, yeah. is very important for vitamin D and calcium. So they begin to stay at home. And they're not... Yes. Yeah. They have less... Um, they are able to control what they eat more less more or less depending on if they have um, helpers so i have a, i had an elderly woman who came and said her daughter always feeds her at 9 p.m when she gets home and with of all things ever uh, in the night at night so nine o'clock so the woman has been getting she's been when, getting when digestion has slowed yes down. so uh, yes yeah, so all those things are things that affect the elderly people because of the fact that they stop working so they have most of them have access to less nutritious foods because they have yeah. less money they're moving around less yes. because they're not going to work they're getting less sunlight they're getting less um, they're able they're not mixing with the social contact yes. is less and that's why loneliness and Sex depression sets in for many of loneliness these is actually worse than depression. of course 
this this is so so important because uh, not only for those of us here in the studio but for our audience that are listening to you now knowing okay i'm this age what do i need to do intentionally deliberately and consciously so that i can age gracefully so at this point it's since we're talking about targeted nutrition what are these things that we should look out for with regards to this targeted nutrition that people will say look let me now make sure that this morning even if i don't have plenty dr johnson said we should be taking this this is how you can age gracefully with this targeted type of nutrition okay i hope you remember our healthy eating plates yeah. exactly <laughs> <laughs> and the Please. healthy eating plate you can always <laughs> adapt it to everybody mm. and i'm going to say something Eating for the elderly is not just about what you eat. It's about when you eat it, mm, how much you eat it, how often you eat it. Awesome. First of all, and the, kind, the consistency of the food that you eat. So older people, remember, their teeth. That's yeah. true. That's true. We forget. Yeah. Yeah. We forget that their teeth are aging, too. their teeth are more fragile, they, 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 have, they have loss of um, taste buds, Dead they have less saliva in their mouth. So if you are giving them a lot of hard foods, Food. they're not going to it's be very able to eat it. Yeah. Them. Yes, it's very frustrating. They can't eat it. I remember my dad who always used to say, "Oh, this food I can't eat it. It's tasteless." <laughs> you know, they they lost yeah, some of those. Lost that so you yeah. you might need to add a lot of um, like natural spices, especially with vegetables, things like celery, parsley. Exactly. parsley those yeah, are doing rosemary, yes, yeah. ginger, yeah. just to spice up yeah. that taste, so that it makes it easier for them to eat that food. So we're talking, we were talking the consistency, mm -hmm. the timing, the amount, mm -hmm. the frequency. So we'll go back to the uh, healthy eating speech. And now, before I forget. Proteins are very important for adults. Why? We found out that muscle mass okay. is number one important thing to help ensure that you grow older, that you reach an older age. And where do you get muscle from? From protein. protein. Right now, it's being advocated that you start getting ready for your old age from, guess, 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 from when you're much younger. What from age? when you're a child, age, from when you're a that. child, from when you're a baby. <laughs> but if you miss that, it's very important that it between starts. the age of 40 uh -huh. to 59, so you, can start, you can increase start. the amount of protein you're taking. And please, let's go for plant sources of protein. And you will mm. explain the plant, plant sources, sources of, protein. of protein? Yes. Plant sources of protein and fish. Awesome. Your fish, because of your omega-3, omega-3, um, um, um fatty, acid, fatty acid, acid sorry your omega-3 fatty acids so of course we're talking about we we'll go back to the other i just brought those things out because they're yeah. very important okay. so proteins are very important to build muscle mass and with proteins go exercise Mm. Proteins are very because important the, in building <laughs> muscle mass, mm. and with protein, protein goes exercise. Remember that your healthy eating plate mm. yes. is your plate. plate. Dr. Bolani, <laughs> don't go, don't do go there. You yes. struck a chord for yes. yes. Dr. Martin. Yes. 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 Exercise. Yes. 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 Exactly. <laughs> you know that. No, you just hold it there because we need to keep it dates with the physicians mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. We need to ask our audience how is your eating habits? How what is in that plate? Dr. Bolani is going to talk about the plates, but how have you done it? How do you do it regularly? Outside, do you go to different places? You just buy anything you see, you just eat. In the morning, you are taking a bath. Afternoon, you are taking a bath. At night, at 10 p.m., you are taking a bath because you think it's traffic. Mm. Aging gracefully because what to do now tell, will tell you how the night will look like. We're we'll back after this short break. Stay tuned. Okay. Actually, what I do is, you know, I, there was a time I noticed that my BP is always going to 140. So I have to like indulge in fruits. So I do like about nine, ten fruits together. I juice them. So in the morning, I actually don't don't eat. I go to the office. So office, my job is uh, go around. So by the time I go around, it's like two, three o'clock. I take my lift and that I always put in my my tea i take then the evening after close of work i go to the gym 30 40 minutes i'm done i'm home i take my juice again so i let me i eat once every but now then i was weighing 127
now I'm weighing 103 so I think as a result of that so my BP now is 118 every day and in every way enjoy that I find support no matter the role you play you jump back supplement for you and me in your body Darabite Nutritional Supplement is loaded with essential multivitamins, minerals, and natural ingredients that helps you to be at your best. Darabite from LB Pharma. Darabite, love yourself. Welcome back. If you have just joined us, you're on to your regular health TV talk show, The Physicians, where your health is our business. Our topic for today is aging gracefully, discussing the importance of targeted nutrition for older adults. In the studio, our guest she is a public health physician, Dr. Omobolanle Johnson. Omobolanle, you have a So phone. let me remind you about the healthy eating. We yes. need to be reminded. So for the um, elderly, that plate is going to be a medium-sized plate. Not the normal one anymore. Yes, medium. Because they, don't, they can't uh, take a lot okay. at a time. So True. for the elderly, you want to ensure that... I'm going to give you certain tips. You want to ensure that they, eat, they might eat three, four, five meals their latest meal, ideally, by 6.37. Because if they eat too uh, um, late, late, they can't sleep. And mm -hmm. they have things like uh, constipation, regurgitation, uh, acid reflux, reflux, acid burn. It's not good for them. So you have your medium-sized plate. Half the plate should be vegetables. Okay. And if you have, and I told you that you want vegetables of different colors. Red, so should be yellow. rainbow light. Like so rainbow less like <laughs> And when you see, uh, um, I mean, and let's, let's go for vegetables in season. And then you want to have fish, okay. at least two servings of fish. Which kind of, kind of fish? Fatty fish. fish. Oh. No, the, your things like your tuna, your mackerel, salmon. salmon. <laughs> and then <laughs> let me go to catfish. Okay. Because, I yeah. mean, things it's are so expensive. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we have here. So before we were told that um, people should avoid eating catfish. catfish. I take the ones that have more skills. More skills. Yes. Oh, more, no. Well, there were different reasons. First, they said that catfish is a dirty fish and it eats all mm. manner of things. And they also said that catfish, catfish has two types of fats in it. It has, your, that has the lipoproteins, the omega-3s and the omega-6. Now, the omega-3s are good for your heart, your eyes, your brain. And the omega-6 helps cell functions for your reproductive system, all the other parts of the cell, the GIT. Now, it's said that you, when you are eating, and you know when we talked about um, taking fats, we said you want to take different types of yeah, fats, and yeah. this is the reason why. So you have your omega-3s and your omega-6s. Yeah. You want to make sure that your, if you take the omega-6s are for inflammation, so they're good for you when you have an infection. But when you have too much of it, you begin to have things like asthma, like mm. arthritis, mm. and all that. So that's why you want to ensure that there's a balance between mm. your omega-3s and, and six, your omega-6. Six. Six. So catfish has both omega-3 and mm. omega-6. Six. Six. And before, we thought that the omega-6s was so much that it negated the, the effect, effect of the omega-3s. Omega omega but now, science is finding that. So what we say now is, eat, like we say, everything in moderation. moderation if you take that golden rule you'll be fine i mm. think she has just increased the price of cash do you understand <laughs> because now they're like it, it dr just johnson it. said it's good for the elder <laughs> because it has both omega-3 particularly omega because it fish yes. is so expensive yes. mackerel too yes. now we don't have yes. them in our water so yes. we have to start looking the, the, what is in our local please at home don't compete with the elderly for that catfish <laughs> they need it yes. is that what you, you are this is a public uh, system <laughs> exactly. and announcement exactly, exactly. please <laughs> at home, don't compete. But in all of this, it's very good that we are having this discussion right now because it's also important for us now to say, okay, targeted nutrition, now we've been able to talk about the certain kind of meals. But what are now the importance and significance of all this that we have been talking about? Okay. Talking about the benefits. Benefits, now. significance, and you know, healthy all. aging. You want to be able to live to... I mean, you have three types of older people. So okay. you have the young, old, the, up to 75, 74, 75, Those are the 75. young, old? Yes, young, young old. old. Up to 75, young, 70, old. So yeah, that's where you belong. Don't be, yes. don't be angry. She's not old. No, young, young old. 
<laughs> you have 75 to 85. <laughs> Middle. Middle, and then you have over 85 who are the super oh, super okay. agent. So you to be able to and you want to be able to live a full life. Yeah. You want to be able to I have an auntie who is 75 and she still wears her high heels. She doesn't Whoa. have any arthritis. She doesn't have she's you look at her. You and don't you think, think she's there's more of hereditary to this thing? There's hereditary. But there's also lifestyle uh, and there's yes, diet. diet. So one thing she did was she stopped. She, she was addicted to a certain kind of soft drink and she stopped drinking it. Wow. So we want to ensure that as we go older, we reduce the amount of sugar yeah. sweetened and drinks. Yes. Yeah. Uh, sugar sweetened. Reduce the amount of fats that we. Because the, the more saturated fats you have, the more obese you are. You are more prone to things like diabetes, yeah. to things like di hypertension. hypertension. You are more. Um, prone to things like atherosclerosis, heart disease, of, cardiac arrest. Diseases, yeah. Yes, arthritis. and then with increased weight, you have things like arthritis, you have spondylosis, you have mm -hmm. neck pain. And you, I have a lot of people that come and they're, all they're complaining about is pins and needle sensation in their yeah. hands. And I always tell them it's coming from the neck. A lot of it because. It's done as referred, referred. Yes, because there's a lot of um, there's arthritis in those necks. Everything grows old. old. But you can ward off the aging process with food, plenty of antioxidants mm -hmm. in so, all your vitamin, in okay. all your vegetables, your fruits and vegetables, okay. uh, your water. Avoid the um, sugars. Uh, reduce the amount of saturates. Reduce red meat. Eat more Saturday. of fish, fish and chicken. Okay. Mm -hmm. And chicken. Eat. A, drink a lot of water. water. And exercise your healthy eating plate is not complete, complete with without the exercise, exercise. <laughs> so that is that's a very very good point so before i let you go dr johnson uh do you want to tell me uh, because we know that as you age gracefully you also need some supplements right yes so you want to tell me the role of some of these supplements because we know the body doesn't produce yes uh, some of these things anymore so it's also important that at least we add some of the supplements yeah. right yes particularly things like cal calcium and vitamin d, d. Okay. if you have a fall as an elderly most of a lot of them fracture their femurs True. and i will tell you something most people that fracture their femurs without anything done will die within a year it actually happened those that have things even when they have treatment either they have a um, fixation mm -hmm. they die within two years mm -hmm. so you want to ensure particularly for women remember remember that as women those proteins are also important for our hormones when exactly. we get to 50 yeah. and we are approaching menopause, menopause a lot of changes are occurring mm -hmm. estrogen progesterone is reducing is testosterone is increasing increase. you need those proteins, proteins to ensure that you produce the right amount of hormones that you need to keep you stable. So you want to ensure that you have calcium, you have vitamin D, so that if you have slight falls, you don't end up with anything broken okay. at that age. It's always, Which always really very dangerous, dangerous to have a fall and to have something broken at that age. Your teeth also, calcium, vitamin D, and then of course fats and oils, sugars, avoid all sugars because you don't want diabetes. And I tell you, you can ward off even for people that have um, di diabetes is now being properly treated with diet. I know many people yeah. that have gone yeah. on drugs yeah. with things like yeah. intermittent fasting exactly. and diet. And I will tell you, if you want to age healthily, you start. If you miss your youth, please don't miss it your now. middle age. Start today. <laughs> start today. That is actually uh, a good point, so a good place to anchor. Dr. Balali Johnson. We can't just thank you enough for this wealth of information that you have given to us here as the physicians, the our anchors, and to our guests who have been listening to you. It's always a thing of joy when each time you come. Because you just open and tell us new, 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 new things every day, new things you keep telling us. Now you've told us why the catfish is going to be a bit expensive, because <laughs> many people are going to go taking the catfish now. And one because last of thing, omega -3 you need one six. gram of protein for every kilogram of your weight. So if no, I'm 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 KG, you need 60 grams a day if you are 80. So we don't all need the same amount of protein. Okay. Interesting. So thank you very much, Dr. Bola. It's really nice having you as our guest. And uh, we'll still call you back. Trust <laughs> us that we'll call you back because we want this public information. Public information is very, very vital because it's more of preventive medicine. Yeah. So I really appreciate you for coming. Thank and you. And to our viewers out there, 
I, I know you have benefited and I'm very happy that most of you actually took your virus and you just said a lot of things down. If nothing else, remember the catfish, omega H3 and omega 6. It's important. And when are you supposed to start? Start now. If you have not been doing that before, it is time to start it now. Tomorrow may be too late, but start it now. Prepare the ground now for tomorrow. Do the lighting, lifestyle changes is important. On this note, I just want to say thank you again for keeping a date with us. My name is Dr. Martina Agberian. Till next time, stay blessed. Thank you very much, Dr. Johnson. To all our viewers, once again, thank you. We can't be doing this without your support and your accolades. So a very big thank you, knowing fully where we are deeply grateful for keeping it up with us every time we are here. And of course, you, you heard that last word, one gram for the weight that you have. So if you are 50 kg, you need 50 grams of protein per day. So don't copy and paste without editing. Don't copy the other person. You may be 50 kg and the person is 60 kg. You need 50 gram and ride with other person we need 60 gram. And please, kindly, we are here appealing, kindly follow us on all our various social media platforms. And if you need any information that is right from the authentic people to help disinformation and misinformation, the Physician's YouTube page is the place to go. Go there, binge on it, and if you have any questions, ask us, any comments, ask us, and be free to spread the gospel to everybody in your circle. My name is Dr. Memuna Yusuf Kadri. Until next time, remain blessed. Every day and in every way, enjoy that I find support. No matter the role you play, you turn back some payment for you and me. In your body, that I fight you. Darabite Nutritional Supplement is loaded with essential multivitamins, minerals, and natural ingredients that helps you to be at your best. Darabite from LB Pharma. Darabite, love yourself. Darabite.